So let's do a quick walk around video of the EC300 hybrid. So pretty much the only thing different on this machine is the accumulator over here. And you'll notice that on the side. So pretty much the only difference in the hybrid model is this big uh, accumulator right here. And what that does is it takes all the energy as you're booming down or turning into the cut to make another scoop. It's taking all that fluid as you're booming down and it's putting it into this accumulator and it's storing that energy to return it back to the pump. So when you start uh, continuing your dig and booming up, it's taking all that energy, putting it back into the pump and using that so the motor doesn't have to turn as much torque or provide as much torque uh, which in return is saving you around a 15-17% uh, fuel savings off of that. So pretty much all you're doing is saving the energy that the machine produces from the boom going back down. All that gravity is going back into here, storing that energy, and then entering back into the system, which uh, is pretty much over the long run saving you fuel. And down here, I'll show you the only thing that's different in the hydraulic uh, bay here. So here's your hydraulic pump, same as every other machine. And the only thing added is this part right here. Uh, you have your two hoses and that was what allows the fluid to come back and enter into the pump, which is entered into the system and is used as energy uh, when you're starting your next dig cycle. So it's pretty cool how you can use something so simple and uh, gain kind of so much more pretty much free energy out of that and it's all by you know the gravity of the boom going down you're able to capture all that energy as it's coming back down well there it is the uh, ec300 hybrid i'm going to jump up on the pile of dirt with it do a little digging so here in the cab of the hybrid 300 there's a little uh, meter right here that pretty much shows how much energy you have stored in the accumulator and if you watch it stores its energy when you boom down so right now I have the boom up and I'm gonna go ahead and drop it we can kind of see the gauge right there see it's almost three quarters of the way full now as I'm sitting here working that will uh, fully charge see how it fully charged and uh, what it's doing is it's taking that energy and putting it back in the hydraulic pump um, to return it back into the system. And what that is doing is not allowing the engine to have to turn as much torque to be able to get that power. So every time I'm making a digging cycle, as I boom down, it's taking all that fluid and putting it into that accumulator right there, and which in return is sending it back into that valve and then back into the hydraulic pump to feed the system and from what he said it saves around 15 to 17 uh, percent fuel consumption over time so if you're burning I know it won't burn 100 gallons a day but let's just say if you burn 100 gallons uh, with that turned off with that turned on you should be able to get the same amount of work done for um, 85 gallons of fuel so if fuel's getting expensive, let's just say it's $3 a gallon, that's uh, $45 a day that you could save. I wanna see if I can put the camera right here and kind of dig a little bit. You should be able to see the boom and the actuator gauge. So right now I'm using all the functions and boom up so it's draining it. So as I swing over here and dump, and then when I return back into the cut, see how it's charging it? Fully charged. Now I'm raking and getting a scoop. Now it really uses it when you start to boom up. See, now I boomed up, I completely drained it. So it's using all that momentum from gravity as the boom goes down to fill that actuator. And the nice part about this is you do have the option, if you don't want to use it, you can manually turn it off in the uh, computer here. And I'll show you how. So what you can do, for some reason, you're not happy with it or you don't want to use it, you can take that, go to hydraulics, 
come down here to hybrid system and deactivate. And it's as simple as that. And there it is. So this machine also has the active control on it. So um, it's set up with the monitor screen in here and the joysticks with all the buttons on it so um, these are pretty much the ones for like if you do have a tilt rotator you have all the functions right here at your fingertip control so we'll uh, set the camera up outside and get a little digging video of it so I'm gonna dig with the machine a little bit now try it out
one of those features that uh, you're pretty much not going to tell by running the machine. It's just going to show over time. You keep track of all your, your stuff. Um, really, it just kind of works out on the bottom line as far as your fuel consumption. Because um, really, sitting in the seat, I, I can't tell anything different. But I don't think you're supposed to because all it's doing is just saving the energy that it's stored and putting it back in the system. So other than the engine shouldn't have to turn quite as much torque or RPMs to uh, supply the pump with the power it needs.